What's up, guys? Uh, I'm done with all pre-recorded stuff so I can finally put a Christmas hat on because it's December. I think it's the 8th today. Yeah. But anyways, let's get into this movie. So this is supposed to be the greatest sequel of all time. And in regards to what a sequel is on expanding the characters, on expanding the world that they live in, the lore of the series, I guess, and make taking everything that was good in the original and making it better, taking everything that was bad in the original and kind of making that better or just taking it out. This does work as an amazing sequel because it does all that. It expands the world. We get more of a surrounding because when really when you think about it, we only really know about like Tatooine and the Death Star because that's really all they were at. Those are like the only two places. But in this we go all over the place. We're in Hoth. We're in Naboo. I think that yeah, that's where he transits in Yoda. We're in Hoth, Naboo, uh, Cloud City. And I think they did something good with this movie where they focused less on the story. Because in the first movie, it was all about the story. It was all about... It didn't. It just focused on getting the point to point to point because this is what has to happen. But this one really focused a lot more on the characters. And Empire Strikes Back is an amazing name for this movie because it's all about the bad guys. This one is all about... The first one was all about the good guys getting the win. And now this one's all about the bad guys winning. Because the bad guys won. Like, come on. Um, and we get to know a lot more about Darth Vader, like, a lot, a lot more, which is really good, because especially, we just need to know more about the villain, it gives us more of a, I know this came out before, but it gives us more of like a Thanos kind of deal, where we are almost rooting for the villain, it, it works better with Thanos, but you get what I'm saying, um, Luke is a lot less of a whiny little kid, um, the character acting is still kind of weird like Leia and Han I just don't feel it I feel like they're more of a uh, they don't feel like a relationship kind of deal I, I don't know I don't know it's just me that's just me but uh, everybody's acting was way better especially Princess Leia she's um Carrie Fisher did an amazing job in this movie where she only did kind of a subpar in the last one Yoda everybody's talking about how adorable baby Yoda is how cute and stuff he is but normal Yoda that dude's freaking adorable. Dude's hilarious with the little... We, he's trying to take his space wieners. He wants a hot dog. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that just... And then the action, this movie, it was a lot more ramped up rather than Han Solo running down a hallway and pew, 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 and then running back. It was much more of a real thing. The lightsaber battle between Luke and Darth Vader was way better than just a little... With... Ben and Vader, um, the, I don't know, it's just, this is just a really good movie, and it's kind of nice seeing the bad guys, like, win, um, the atmosphere of the whole movie is also really good, too, how they took Cloud City, and they, like, made the oranges and stuff look all nice and stuff, it was, like, orange and white, but then at the end, it was orange and black, when they were, uh, putting Han through the thing, and how they took the colors and it almost inverted it like that. That was super cool. That's something I noticed. And like I said, Luke with the training, that was really good. This was just, everything about this was a really, really good. Like, it just made everything from the previous movie so much better. It really felt like, honestly, the first movie could was like a standalone thing. It felt like it could just have been by itself. And this one also kind of feels like that, where they don't really focus too much on the past. I think Han... Uh, Han Solo mentions once that he's, you know, the bounty hunters are looking for him, but that's important to the plot, so it's just a really good film, I don't know what to say, but for the ranking, I'm putting it, I, I've changed some things up, it is now episode 3, episode 5, which is this one, episode 4, Solo, Rogue One, 2, 1, and I'm doing that because I just have more respect for A New Hope than I do Solo. I think I'd rather watch Solo again before watching A New Hope, but I just respect A New Hope more for what it did. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Next time I'm watching uh, Revenge of the Jedi. I'm about to sit down and watch that right now. Uh, no, it's Return of the Jedi. A lot of people really hate this movie, apparently. I don't know. I remember everybody loving the original trilogy, but nowadays it's kind of divisive. So I'm ready to see where I think it goes, because I still have number three as the top pick. So, anyways, 
video over. Why do I always point? Like